Hey guys, so it's Tuesday and we're gonna head out and get some food because it's already past noon. We were gonna go out for breakfast, then we're like, you know, we could just go out for lunch pretty much. So maybe we'll just go to the mall food court or something. Um, and we're gonna look up show times because are we gonna go to Annabelle, do you think? Maybe. Yeah. We were thinking either Annabelle maybe. Creation, Wonder Woman, or Spider Man, even though I've already seen Spider Man. <laughs> um, just we've been watching a lot of horror movies, so I think that would be fun to do. But. Other than that, I don't know what we're doing today. We did make plans to go, just kind of like wander around downtown tomorrow and then go to this Shakespeare play. They actually have this whole setup where they do Shakespeare plays and all this kind of stuff. And it's just like a temporary setup Bard for part beach. of the year. Yeah, it's called Bard on the Beach. Mm -hmm. And cause I was looking up live shows, I was like, that'd be so cool if we could go to some live show. And I found that and I was like, that'd be kind of cool. So tomorrow we're gonna go see Much Ado About Nothing. And it's live theater. I think it'll be fun. So that's, we have plans for tomorrow. Not so many plans for today other than like, let's go eat and watch a movie. I am not making the healthiest of decisions on this bachelorette weekend. It's not even the weekend anymore, it's Tuesday. It counts, it counts. Until Brooklyn leaves, I'll eat what I want. Bachelorette week. Yeah, bachelorette week. The store just opened. Is it open just, no, you said it was open the other day when you came, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we could get in line. <laughs> Looks like it's moving somewhat fast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We made it in. Muji, originally founded in Japan in 1980, offers a wide variety of good quality products, including household goods, apparel, and food. Muji in Japanese translates to no brand quality goods. Pencil and pen. Just to say it came from Muji? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Nine fifty. They are metal though. I, yeah, think. I thought they were plastic furry. at first because I went. Yeah, they're really light. They are aluminum. So I was like, looks like metal. Pick it up. I'm like, huh? Huh? A mirror. Ooh. This size would actually be really nice. Oh, I actually do need something like that. <laughs> Whoa. Is there some that are blank? Oh. No, I mean no writing on, like just a blank book. Pencil sharpener. This one's blank. Maybe. I'm gonna get it because it's so like flimsy and cute. Ooh, 0. 0.38. Ooh. So I grabbed a 0. 0.5 earlier, and there's 0. 0.7. There's these. Okay, I need a turquoise one. You can test them. Oh, pink. Yeah, same. This is a gel pen. Oh yeah. Hmm. You could fit Copics in here. Like this is wide enough. If I had something for my, my pastels that I'm making, you know, I'm shaving them down to be pan pastels. I could use a shorter drawer though. Oh, these are shorter drawers, but this is a lot of them. Long skinny ones. That would be awesome. Oh my God. I want them all. Even this one would be really cool for markers because it's slanted. Really, any art supplies. Yeah. There's a bunch more. Oh my god. I need all new storage for my art supplies. Huh. I think I should. Oh, this one's shorter. <gasps> I need this one. Wait, no, I don't. This one's cheaper because it's smaller, but I want the flatter drawers. Ugh. These are sketchbooks. Ten bucks. Mm. Oh yeah. These ones have the thinner paper, kind of like the one I already grabbed. I wonder if I should grab one of these. Uh, how many mini sketchbooks do I need, though? So many things, like a little tape measure, stapler. This is a stapler too. It's a little sharpener. Look how tiny it is. Baby. Ah, oh, with a little reservoir. I kind of want that because it's so compact. One half. Dollar fifty. What's this? A little push pins. It's like a little shredder. Oh, I lost mine. I need a new one. Is there? Is this one also one? Uh, these are. This is eraser with paper rolling. So I think it's like you unravel paper. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean that's kind of neat. This one's longer and cheaper than the plastic one. This one has a weird shaped tip. It's a triangle. Actually, that'd be pretty handy for corners. 
It's like bed frame, little dresser, headboard thing. Whatever it is. I think it's a headboard. No, actually, no. Never mind. Well, you could use it forever. So many cute things. A lot of it's really expensive, though. <laughs> now to D store. The dye store. Bye. That is the most complicated tape holder I have ever seen. Tail spin when tape is pulled. Aww. And there's this. Stitch. Stitch is stitch. Those are cute too. Stitch. Stitch's ears move. Look at the little. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, that's cute too. Look at this thing. Look at this zipper. <gasps> Brooklyn, this would be the perfect case for my pastels. It's all like yummy. We've got like food. Oh, cute. I'm looking for a small case that's flat to hold my pastel things. And this would be perfect. I could take all the stuff out and use the case. They still have this. I want these to go on clearance. Some of the other Beauty and the Beast stuff has, but not the mirrors. Just waiting, man. I'm waiting. It's a big cup. How many cups do I need though? All of them. This store is ageist. On clearance. Does this count for the extra 40% off thing? Right now they have extra 40% off all clearance. This is what it looks like inside. It's not even ruled. Replay. So we're at Forever 21. This top mine cuts a little too low. I like the rest of it though. And then I'm already with these, which are technically sweatpants. What? But they kind of look nicer, especially when the top is covered. They don't look as much like sweatpants. Well, this is not as nice as I hoped it would be. I mean, they can wear that up to cover the bra straps, but this is a size small. It's just kind of drapey. I love the fabric, though. Shut up. We're good! How are coloring books still this popular? They get all the front-facing books, and they're overtaking, like, three things, and then all the how-to-draw ones get shoved in here. Eh, eh, eh. Eh? 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 Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I want this just for the cover. Yeah, I like the cover more than I like the inside. Outlander. We've been here forever. We just looked at showtimes. There's a movie starting in an hour, but there's also one at 9.30. We're just gonna go with the 9.30 one because then we can take our time to make supper and like get out of here and whatnot. Or we can just go out to eat and get a sit down restaurant. We have to drop off all our crap first. I'll do a haul. We came back to the house, got some food, and I'm gonna show you. So Brooklyn spotted this at Chapters. It was in the kids section, which I never look in, and I'm like, I need to go in that kids section more often. So it's Let's Find Pokemon. It's kind of like a Where's Waldo, and I love it because the art is very old school. Like, I'm not sure when this was originally published. This edition was published 2017, but yeah, anyway, I just like it because it's really cool. I like the art style in it, and... It gives you three Pokemon to find, but it's also fun to just say, oh, find this one. Like, if you're playing with a friend, like Brooklyn and I were just doing it on one page. I was like, find this Pokemon, find that one, and oh, oh my god, this one's gonna be hard. And then the whole thing is like a giant Pikachu. Look at this one, Christian. <laughs> anyway, the other one I was like, find a bunch of bananas, because there was a Machamp holding a bunch of bananas, that kind of thing. Oh my god, here's a Squirtle. Wait, where did that go? A bunch of squirrels <laughs> and war turtle and some blastoise. Those ones are more difficult. 
anyway this is pretty fun then there's some where it's like you have to find it somewhere in the book but it doesn't tell you where well you can assume that one's probably on the squirtle page and that one's probably on the pikachu page Kiki, what you doing up there? she's coming after me anyway that was from chapters i have some other stuff here maybe a few things a few items okay this one was actually from nyx although <laughs> It's not that great. It was in this 50% off section and I was like, that's a pretty bright pink, but if I use a little bit of it, it might look okay. No, it just looks weird. It goes on really weird. It's, what is it called? A lip, lip cream. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing? Then at Sephora, I got a new blush because mine's almost out and I'm going with a slightly peachier one, like a little bit on the oranger side. Because I've had one like that before and I really liked it. Oh, and this is also from the next door. Just a little single eyeshadow. What are you doing? That's all I got at NYX though. But yeah, that's from Sephora. And then I got a perfume because I've been wanting one for a while. <laughs> I just have little teeny sample size ones. <laughs> so I got this one. We tested so many. It was ridiculous. And this is the one that I liked the best. Dolce & Gabbana Rosa Excelsa. Hmm. Oh, the lid is really cool. I don't even know the lid had a rose because all the samplers they had didn't have the lids. So I didn't even realize it had that. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Mmm. Mmm. You likey. I should show the stuff from Muji because it's small and with my current camera set up that will work nicely. Okay, well first in the Muji bag is the Rapunzel thing that I showed in the store. It was $12.99 and that was the clearance price. All the clearance stuff was an additional 40% off, so it was 40% off of that. Woo Very cute. I've eyed this up several times but didn't want to pay full price for it. If I like something enough, I'll pay full price, but it's one of those things where I was like, mm, maybe later. Then there's the stuff from Muji. We put some of it in this cute little envelope. So I have the click eraser. This is really hard to do like this. I should flip it around. There's the click eraser with the triangular eraser. I bought a refill that eraser then I got this teeny tiny pencil sharpener because it's just so compact that'd be very nice for traveling yet it holds the shavings because I do have a small pencil sharpener but it doesn't have a case around it then there is a turquoise little teal colored pen I have this pen size 0.5 Woo. super easy to write with then a little sketchbook to add to my hoard. I just like how mushy it is, if that makes sense. <laughs> then I got a business card holder and I got the smallest one just so I can hold a few business cards in case people ask about my YouTube channel and stuff. Then that was it for Muji. Okay, there now you're propped up on top of the couch because I have some bigger items to show. Went to Forever 21 and I got this sweater. It's a short one. I think it'd be cool just to wear like a tank top or something under it. Just any kind of longer shirt. Because it's it drapes. It really hangs loose. So it'd be nice to wear something tighter underneath for the lower half of your bod. And it's this beautiful wine color. Oh, how gorgeous. And Forever 21 reminds me that a couple people in there recognize me. Christian, I had four people today recognize me. Usually I, get, I hardly get recognized ever. And I have four people is nuts. And then, oh, getting the poo cramps. Mm -hmm. I got these sweatpants that I showed in the dressing room and they were on this mannequin with a fancy top and they didn't even look like sweatpants at first because they're kind of a little more formal even though they have holes in them. I officially have a pair of pants with holes in them. He's giving me a weird look. But yeah, because of the pockets, it doesn't look like 
sweatpants that much unless you see the strings hanging down like if they're tied up and tucked in it doesn't look as much like sweatpants so that's why I bought those because I was like do I really need more sweatpants no but you know and then this was just in the line to pay at Forever 21 and it reminded me that my current little foldable brush is broken it still works if you hold it open but I've been meaning to get a new one and this was right there I wouldn't have picked this metallic purple color but that was the only color they had and then I got this headband. I don't know if you're supposed to keep this bungee piece on it or if that's just for the price tag. No, because this is there. I don't know, but I'm going to take the bungee part off because it just gets in the way. But it's a little finger jigger. Maybe so you can wear it on your forehead. But I'm not going to wear mine on my forehead. I'm going to wear it up like a headband. Like that. I'm probably going to take that piece off. Then I've been looking everywhere for a purse like this, but a full-size purse. This is a mini purse, but I want one this color or more of a baby pink. This is slightly on the dustier side for the pink, but I want some kind of baby pink purse with gold metal bits on it. This is like mini version of what I want, although I want something not, not like this. But anyway, I thought this would be neat just if I do want to take just a few things or use it as a little camera bag or something. I don't know. I just couldn't pass it up. Once I saw it, I was like, it's too cute. I need it. I have a long strap. So that's everything from Forever 21. Quite the shopping spree. Hey there, Kiki. I didn't get anything for you. Nope. Yeah, you can crawl in the bags. Yeah, I was about to say, you did get some in the bags. Then, there was winners. Da 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 da. I got these little booties. I wanted little booties like this for a while and I love this color because it's, it's brown but it's a very, very gray brown. They're pretty much just gray. They lace up. They got the chunky heel. I don't know, they're kind of witchy, kind of old timey. See, Christian? So those are the brand Geox, which is funny. I think there's a Geox store in the mall, but that's from Winners. And then I got this pair of boots. Prepare yourself, Christian. I almost got a pair that looked just like this, but they were gold. Except no, they weren't soft like this. They were just some kind of metallic material. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> I have a lot of flip-flops and sandals and whatnot, but I don't have many booties like this that I'd wear out and about, you know? So I'm glad I picked up the couple of pairs. And that is everything I got today. And we're gonna go to a movie tonight. So bye Christian. We're gonna go see Annabelle Creation at 9.35. You can come if you want. No. We were gonna maybe go with to the earlier show but when we checked show times that one was only an hour away and we were still in chapters and we we're like well we still have to eat and stuff so maybe let's just go to the late show and also there was better seat selection for the later show there weren't many good seats left for the earlier one so i was like let's check the later one okay how do i tie pascal back in here not that i need him there there it's double knotted it might not be the prettiest thing but it's there Little baby, you like having the green chair out here? Well, it's not gonna last. I'm putting it back in my art room later. You know how to make this a fun game, Brooklyn? Count the Pikachu! Count how many Pikachus are in this? No. Including that one, and that one, and these ones. They count twice. Count how many Pikachus are in this entire book. How about that? How about that? No. Well, it is time for us to head out to the movie. I'll talk to you when we're back and let you know if it was spooky or not. Okay, so we are back from watching the movie and oh my God, one of the best horror movies I've seen in forever. It had like little girls, an orphanage, creepy dolls, like the whole thing. It was just, it had everything. A house with creepy areas. <sighs> such a good movie. I mean, seeing it in theaters gives it that spook factor, but also just, 
it just is a really good scary movie like it's probably one I'm gonna rewatch in the future or something <sighs> that's that's right up there for me that's right up there for me that's a really really good one so highly recommend but we're gonna go to bed <laughs> I think we're sufficiently spooked uh, anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow this is pretty tape mm -hmm. it's like blue and purple at the same time oh my god I don't have to I'm just trying to open it so that they can kind of see it. Well, I gotta go low for the vlog, but 